Here's a picture of the problem. This is a bullet that weighs 0.125 kilograms and here traveling to the block which weighs 9.0 kilograms. This is the, the initial position of the block and this is the final position of the block. The distance between these two is 3.2 meters. The mu equals 0.25. Um, the problem is, what is the muzzle velocity or the velocity of the bullet? Okay, the first thing you have to do to find the muzzle velocity is find the force of friction. So how you find this is F equals mu Fn. So mu equals 0.25 and Fn equals mg cosine theta. So the M equals 9.125 because you have to add the mass of the um, block and the bullet. G is 9.81 and since there's no theta, cosine just equals 1. So you don't have to worry about that. So after you put these numbers in your calculators, you should get 22.4. Newtons. So that's the first step. The second step is to find, um, the second step you use the formula for the net force. So EF equals MA. Since we know what the mass is, but we don't know what the acceleration is, solve for A, we we'll do A equals F over M. Since we know what the force is, we can plug that number in, so 22.4 for the F and for M is one nine point one two five. So after you, um, then you want to divide these two numbers and we get 2.45. But we want to make this a negative 2.45 because the acceleration is slowing down. So that's why it's a negative. So then that is your second step. Your third step is to find the initial velocity of the block. Alright, so we want to use the formula V F squared equals V I squared plus 2 A X. So since we know that when the final velocity of the block is zero because it's stayed it's not moving we can just put 0 for Vf squared and since we're solving for Vi squared for the initial velocity we'll just leave it like that and then since so then since it's slowing down we have it to be negative 2ax or minus 2ax so we want to um, get the initial velocity by itself so we'll subtract, subtract Vi squared to get it to the left side. So then negative vi squared equals negative 2ax, which is the same thing as vi squared, positive vi squared equals positive 2ax. So after that, we still have to solve more so. To isolate, to get v by itself, we want to take the square root of 2ax to get rid of vi squared. So now that we finally have v all by itself isolated on one side, the form is v equals the square root of 2ax. And since we know the um, we know a and x, we can put the numbers in. So 2a is the acceleration, so negative 2.45 and x is the distance between the two blocks which if you remember it was 3.2 so after you put in your calculator you should get 3.96 meters per second so that's the third step so, the f so that is the initial velocity of the block is 3.96 meters per second next the last step we were going to use the equation the inelastic equation to find the velocity of the bullet. So the inelastic equation is m1 
V1 equals in parentheses M1 plus M2 parentheses V1. So we want to we want to get V by itself. So how we're going to do that is we're going to put V1 over here. So we're going to divide M1 to get V1 by itself. So V1 equals M1 plus M2 V1 all over M1. So once we have V isolated by itself, we can start plugging in numbers to get into our formula. So M1 plus M2 is 9.125 because that's the block mass plus the bolts mass. Then you multiply that and then you're going to divide it by M1 which is the mass of the bullet so it's 0.125 and then you multiply that by the, velo the initial velocity of the block and since that was from step 3 we know it's 3.96 so after that after you have all those numbers plug them into your calculator and you should get 289.08 meters per second which is ultimately the final answer so the muzzle velocity equals 289.08 meters per second. So to recap on what we did, um, for this problem, first you want to find the force of friction and the form is mu fn. After you get that, you want to use the formula, the net force formula, to solve for A to find your acceleration and the 2.45 is negative because it's slowing down. After you have that, you want to find the initial velocity for the block. And you want to use the formula Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2ax and solve for V and you will get 3.96 meters per second. Finally, you want to use the inelastic equation and isolate V by itself. Once you isolate V by itself in the formula, you should get the muzzle velocity to equal 289.08 meters per second.